weather authority, meteorologist Ron Roberts. <laughs> The, what was the first sandwich you ever learned to make? Was it peanut butter and jelly or was it grilled cheese? Because they're both pretty simple sandwiches, right? I think that's pretty much the deal. Uh, and you know what? We had a big, big load of rain last night. I mean, for a lot of places, inches plural. In fact, in some locations, better than six inches, better than a half a foot of rain. At the airport, though, not quite so hefty as we still had a half an inch, right around a half an inch of rain that fell. So, yeah, we could still use a little bit more rain in a lot of areas, but I'm going to show you a swath in the tri-state that doesn't need any more rain, but we're going to get the chances over the next few days. There are the twin bridges in view. Of course, that's from Ellis Park, and uh, we're looking out toward the south, and we've got some rain moving in from the west. It's going to be moving into the Henderson area here fairly soon. Evansville's going to get wet, too, it looks like, although most of the rain looks like we'll be down to the south and you can see the dark clouds hanging over Owensboro. I do expect to see some sunshine today. In fact, I'm banking on that for us to get that high into the mid-80s. But, you know, this is coming on the heels of 95 on Friday, 95 for a high on Saturday, 95 on Sunday, back to back to back 95s. So getting a break from that, about 10 degrees break from that is pretty nice. Well, you've got the sandbar out there in the Ohio. Campers still hanging out there. The boats are gone. Well, no, no, we still have a couple of boats here, uh, the fishermen, but the rain is coming in. You know, I will say this, though. A lot of fishermen will try to fish before the rain, especially before a cool front moves in. And that would have been last night would have been a good chance to do that because they say that's the best fishing before a cold front. I've heard that from some fishermen anyway. 81 degrees for a high, dew point 74. Got the wind is currently calm. Temperature wise, how low can we go? We've got temperatures in the 70s across much of the tri-state. 76 is low as I see in Ligoti. 77, I don't, I don't think we're doing a run here. 78 French Lick. Well, there's 77 in Flora. 78 French Lick. 79 in Jasper. 80 in Calhoun for Mama. It is 81 degrees in Princeton. 82 in Madisonville. And 82 degrees right now in Carmine. This is warm as it gets. So upper 70s to low 80s across the board. Check this out in Utica, just south of Owensboro. Boom. Just about four inches of rain on the rain gauge from Sharon Wilson. And here was a cool shot here. Let me step aside so you can see it all. This is from Krista Smith uh, on I-64 in the passenger seat, I might add. Uh, got this shot of the storm as it was moving in. It was approaching. That's an awesome shot from the west, and you can see kind of the light of the setting sun behind that as that storm moved in. And that's the Ferdinand exit. There's the McDonald's at the Ferdinand <laughs> exit right there. Chris said that's an awesome shot of this wall of storm uh, headed towards you. And they were pretty impressive storms, to say the least. Anyway, not too impressive, this rain that's moving in uh, to Union County right now. It's already cut across Saline and Gallatin counties in the tri-state. Hardin County getting a little wet. Looks like it's not going to be much rain here in Henderson or in Evansville. But at the same time, some rain is coming our way. Nonetheless, uh, we had some moderate pockets. It's really starting to diminish, though, as it does push on in. Might hear a few rumbles of thunder out there, but the best chance of rain has already come and gone today. That was early this morning before daybreak. Check out this swat. This is from late last night uh, through this early morning. Well, it's a 24-hour estimate, but most of that was last night or early this morning. That swath of heavy rain stretching from Vincennes, Washington, down through Jasper in Dubois County, also into Perry County, Hancock County, and Ohio County. Some pretty impressive rainfall totals, to say the least. Check this out. There's a little pocket here just north of Monroe City in southern Knox County in between Vincennes and Washington, pretty much just north of US 50. 8.6 inches of rain estimated by Doppler. But wait, we've got more. Down to the south in Hancock County, there's Tell City. Of course, Hawesville right across the river from Tell City and just to the east of Hawesville along the river in Hancock County, 8.2 and then boom, down around Patesville, 7.9. So right around eight inches of rain across much of Hancock County, especially central and southern portions of Hancock County. Wow. Had some breaks in the clouds earlier. Now we're seeing more rain start to spill on in, diminishing though as it moves in from the east or from the west rather and moves to the East. You can see Future Tracker looks a little bit more impressive. We are going to see a few breaks in the clouds, especially mid to late afternoon. I'm kind of banking on that to get that high temperature up into the mid 80s. But what a break. I mean, the humidity is not giving us a break, but at least the temperature is going to give us a break after those 90s last week. And then tomorrow morning, first thing, look at these showers and thunderstorms up to the north, and they will be sinking south as we work our way through the morning. Here we are at 9 o'clock. Really before then, it's going to be north of 64, and then slide on down 
breaking up a little bit along the Ohio, but we do have, and it's going to diminish by the early afternoon, we do have an isolated damaging wind threat for tomorrow morning, and that's going to be the best chance of rain tomorrow in the morning. 86 degrees for a high today, clouds, some sunshine. We're getting both. I'm banking on some sunshine mid to late afternoon. Scattered thunder showers, nothing severe expected. A humid yes with a north-northwest wind at 5 to 10 miles an hour. On the 3-degree guarantee, I called for a high on Friday of 94, got up to 95. That's a 3-degree guarantee winner and Vicki Montgomery of Newburgh. Congratulations, Vicki. You've got yourself an umbrella courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic. Angie's got one, too, or she will pretty soon. <laughs> 86 degrees for a high today, 88 tomorrow, 89 degrees on Wednesday. Check this out, Angie. Yes, we have good chances for rain over the next four days and even an isolated severe threat tomorrow and Wednesday. But we've got temperature highs south of 90 degrees for the rest of July. July ends on Sunday. It's the last week of July, and it's going out in the 80s, retro uh, 80s. I love it. Yes to that. Yes Good looking to all sunrise that. this I'll morning. We've seen a lot of great clouds today, but they had some sunshine in Lamar, and Deborah Pund Forge got a great shot of the rising sun. Good oh, color, geez. splash of color out there. Love it. We'll be back with more lifestyles right after this. Stay with us.